Recently on the channel, we put together this small form factor gaming PC, which puts out some amazing performance in Windows. But in this video, we're going to be transforming this into a Steam Deck alternative that'll run all of your favorite AAA games. What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. I've got this small form factor all AMD gaming PC that we put together on the channel, I believe it was last week at the time of making this one. We've got an S300 case, which is a very small form factor unit, but we can fit a full size GPU in here. And like I mentioned, I went all AMD with this. I didn't go overboard with it because there was a GPU that I personally haven't tested, which I actually think is a pretty decent deal right now. That's what we installed. And that's the Radeon RX 7600. And I paired that up with a Ryzen 7700X and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running at 6,000 mega transfers per second. Running Windows on here actually works out really well, but the main reason I wanted to put this together was for a nice little Linux build. And personally, I love the Steam Deck interface. Unfortunately, Valve hasn't released uh, the official Steam Deck image so we can install it on different devices. So we're gonna be using an operating system known as Chimera OS. And when it comes to Chimera OS, this is my go-to for Linux gaming right now. All the features of Steam Deck OS are built in. We've also got a desktop interface. We'll take a look at all of that. If you want to learn a little more about Chimera OS, I will leave a link to their official website in the description below. Everything you need to know to get this up and running on your machine is over on the website. It's a really easy download. Basically, we're going to flash the installer to a USB drive boot our PC from that USB, and then install it to a drive. You could actually install this to an external drive if you want to. And since it's Linux, it's actually still pretty lightweight, so you could run this from an external USB drive if you want it. I've done several videos testing out Chimera OS on different hardware, but this is one that I was really excited about due to the GPU. It's not the most powerful Radeon GPU on the market, but it is putting out some really great performance as far as I've tested so far in Windows. And I think we're gonna see some awesome Linux gaming out of this machine also. But before I jump into it, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the specs here. Like I mentioned, for the CPU, we've got that Ryzen 7 7700X, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfers per second. I'm using an ASRock Radeon RX 7600, the S300 Mini ITX case. Motherboard is an MSI B650, and I've got a 500 watt SFX power supply. If you're interested in checking out the full build, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So I'm super excited to see what this thing can do, and you might notice that my home screen does look a bit different than the Steam Deck itself, and that's because I've installed CSS Loader. You can do this through Decky Loader, and from here, you can mess around, download new themes. For instance, let's just go ahead and turn this off. We'll go to Pitboy. And you see we've got kind of a Pip-Boy look. I really do like this. But uh, real quick, show you everything we've got here. Just like the Steam Deck, we do have a lot of performance settings that we can mess around with. And with this motherboard, I've actually got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working here. Ethernet is working. Everything on this is basically ready to go with Chimera OS. And from our performance section, we can always turn on our performance overlay. Set up a frame limiter. I've actually got this set at 1080, 120 right now for my monitor. Allow tearing, half rate shading, limit TDP is not going to work or manual GPU clock. This is specifically for the Steam Deck, but we do have access to scaling modes and system wide FSR. I'm going to disable this real quick because I do want to go into the settings and show you system moving down just a bit here. You can see we've got that Ryzen 7 7700X, 32 gigabytes of DDR5. And we've also got that Radeon RX 7600 with eight gigs of VRAM. And real quick, another thing with Chimera, we do have access to a desktop mode. So from power, switch to desktop. So we can also use this as a full-fledged Linux desktop PC. Now we can show all of our apps. I haven't downloaded anything other than that comes preloaded. Go to our software center. Through here, we can go in, download new emulators. We can download games. You can download a full office suite known as LibreOffice. Basically, you could set this up for school, you could set it up for work, you could set it up for video and photo editing really easily. But now it's time to see what this thing can do. And uh, I'm gonna start off here with, let's do Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm gonna process those Vulcan shaders for us. 
So far, really impressed with the performance, and the RX 7600 is more of a 1080p, very high card. Some games are older stuff you can do at 1440p, but right now we've got Horizon Zero Dawn 1080p, no FSR, very high settings, and we're getting an average of 86 FPS out of this one. I mean, it's more than playable on here, and yeah, you could definitely install a more powerful GPU, but the RX 7600 is one that I've been wanting to test in Linux, and so far it's not bad at all. Next on the list, we've got Mortal Kombat 1, 1080p, very high, no FSR. I want to try not to use FSR here. Wasn't sure if it would happen with a game like this, but I mean, we're maxed out at 1080, looking really good, constant 60 FPS. Going back just a bit, we've got Left 4 Dead 2. I always like to test an older one just to see what we can get out of it. And at 1080, very high, we're at 300 FPS. You could probably take this up to 4K on the RX 7600, very high settings. So all of our favorite older games are going to run really well in a setup like this. Here's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, 1080p, very high, average of 91 FPS, and it looks like it's kind of capping out at 120. I guess that's because the resolution of my display is set to 1080, 120. I thought I turned V-Sync off, but either way, I mean, it's more than enough. Looks great at 1080p. No scaling is needed for this game either. Witcher 3, 1080p, Ultra Settings. Uh, this is one I like to throw in every once in a while, plus it's compatible with Steam. I figured we'd go ahead and try it out. Really great performance, and initially going into this, since we've got the newest update to The Witcher 3, there is some resolution scale that you can use. And when I first went in here, we were capped out at 144 FPS. I was super excited, like, man, this is crazy. Then I realized it was turned on. So with that completely off, we can get an average of 116, which is still really impressive. And the final game I wanted to test here was Cyberpunk 2077. 1080p ultra settings with no resolution scale. And I'll show you the settings in just a second. I don't think this is correct because we're almost at 200 FPS with this at 1080p. But going into the settings, I'll go ahead and redo this for you. So from settings, we're at 1080p. I'm going to take that quick preset to ultra, and this will automatically turn on FSR. Once I turn it off, it says we're at a custom preset, but now we're basically at ultra with no FSR. And you can see that we're at 170 to 190 FPS with this game at 1080p. Not exactly sure what to make of this. Um, I mean, that's some pretty high FPS for the RX 7600. It's miles ahead of what you can do in Windows. And you know, I've always had a little better performance with these Radeon GPUs in Linux than I do with Windows, but never by this much. So as you saw, a setup like this can be turned into an awesome Linux gaming machine. I mean, you could use any Linux distro you want. I just like that Steam Deck look. The Steam Deck interface makes it a lot easier to use a controller on the couch. And Chimera OS is really perfect for something like this, at least until Valve releases Steam OS to the public so we can install it on different machines. When it comes to Cyberpunk, I did a total reboot, went back into the game, and I was seeing the same kind of performance. I'm not exactly sure what's going on because, uh, yeah, at 1080 with no FSR, I do not think that the RX 7600 can do almost 200 FPS with that game. So what I'm thinking, there may be a bug where the resolution is lower than it's stated, but you know, everything I'm looking at here from the settings in the operating system, 1080p, 120 hertz, my monitors, even my game capture is set to 1080p, 120 hertz. I mean, if that's really running it with no FSR at almost 200 FPS, very impressive for the RX 7600. Either way, I still think it looked great, and obviously it played just fine. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you want to check out Chimera OS on your own machine, I'll leave some links to their official website in the description. And if you want to put something like this together, links for all of the parts that I used, even the build video, will be down below. If you've got any questions or you want to see anything else running on this, let me know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.